what are the things you look for in an effective, nurturing, high culture team in an environment? SEALs have a task, counterterrorism, hostage rescue, and we are focused on that task. We have roles that we play within that task, right? We try and facilitate those roles and, that, and the accomplishment of that task by coming up with the simplest set of rules we possibly can. As I went to combat with three rules, don't bunch up, don't cross open areas without somebody covering for you because we're vulnerable on the move and make contact with the enemy with the smallest element possible. But relationships form around that task too. So we got the task, we have the relationships that form around that between the people performing it. We have those simple rules that tend to facilitate it. Well, we need a, we need a simple rule that facilitates those relationships as well. If you want to shape a culture uh, and recognize it takes a long time to do that, recognize that culture is a mosaic, right? And every separate office room inside of an organization could have a slightly different culture. And it's based on what it the task that people are focused on and the, and the kinds of people that are in there. We're all different, so the culture will be slightly different. Our challenge sometimes is aligning those cultures to the, the organizational task or the, the, the mission of the organization, which is not easy. But you're building that environment where that feedback is, is just there. It is, we find any number of ways we can to gather feedback from the people. Forget the technical side of the business. You got to have the skills down. We know that that's important for performance, right? But if we want to sustain that performance, build a place where we don't have a lot of turnover and stuff like that, and a place where people want to show up and do good things, then you need that people side of it. And that's where feedback is welcome. That's where feedback is rewarded. Even if it's critical feedback, we recognize that if you give me critical feedback, I might pounce on you because I'm human, right? Uh, even in the SEAL teams, we can get pretty hot and heated when it, the feedback is critical. But what you'll see is guys walk away, they think about that feedback, and then they'll come back at some point later and say, okay, maybe you were right, right? But they also come back and say, here was my intent, because we failed to look at that. I can see your actions. I can't see your intent. That's mm. a basis of communication to recognize that. I can see the things you do. I can't see what you're thinking. What do I do? I jump on the things that you do. I don't ask you what you're thinking. So inside of that community with that feedback piece, I'm asking you, hey, man, here, I'm seeing you do this. I'm just curious, you know, what are you thinking? Or what were you thinking, right? So all of this requires dialogue. You know, uh, um, that's part of that equation, that feedback equation. And if I had a, um, you know, I tend to say feedback is where the magic happens. But if I had to hang my hat on one thing there, but you got the task. Let's assume we're focused on it. We're good at our roles. We have some simple rules that we abide by, but we have this feedback piece that is deep and it's embedded in the institution and it guides our interactions with one another. And I think that's key.